Hey guys, this is Sean Maisie from Men's Stuff Music, and today we're going to be checking out the Third Power Dual Citizen. Uh, Third Power Dual Citizen just came out recently. It's a combination between uh, Jamie's sort of Vox style circuit as well as his American circuit. Um, let's take a look at the controls here. As you can see, even though it's laid out pretty clean, there's a lot to this amp, so I'm going to break it down piece by piece, and at the end, we're just going to combine it all together. So we're going to start with the power section. The uh, Dual Citizen is a 50 watt amp in the uh, solid state rectified mode here. Uh, it gives you a little bit more headroom and it's really great for the clean bits if, if you're looking for that. Uh, if you flick it down, it'll, uh, it'll go into a tube rectifier. Uh, the tube rectifier is rated at 40 watts and it'll give you a little bit of extra warmth and a little bit of sponge. Works really well on the AC channel for some creamy distortion there. Uh, and uh, we have the hybrid master. This really allows you to tune the amp to the exact specific volume that you're looking to play at. Uh, furthermore, the stage studio switch, it allows you to, um, it, it's, it's more of a macro adjustment he describes it as. So that's going to be where you want to start, whether it's going to be stage or studio setting. It's a pretty dramatic change. Uh, and then the hybrid master allows you to tune it in a little bit further there. Now the amp for as clean as it's laid out, uh, there's a lot to it. So uh, I had it combined at the beginning of the video. I'm going to just work on the American side for right now. Then we'll go over to the AC and check out what that sounds like. And at the end, we'll just combine them all together. So for the American channel, we have our presence knob. We have Jamie's new reverb design, which sounds phenomenal. Definitely one of the best out there that I've heard. We have an uh, ambient or tight. It uh, sort of voices the reverb. Uh, the ambient definitely gets really spacey and big, whereas uh, the, the tight um, I find it greater for the funkier rhythms. It stays really in the pocket. Um, then you have your bass, treble control, and then uh, volume there. One of the most important features on this channel is the uh, blackface or, uh, or tweed setting, which I had it in the blackface. That's what you heard it in. Uh, it, it pretty much revoices the, uh, that channel. Um, it's not just a mid-boost or a mid-scoop. It switches tone stacks completely, and it'll, it almost feels like you have two amps in one there. So um, this, is, uh, this is the blackface side only, and the Vox channel is turned off. So it's definitely a lot more scooped. I'm going to check out the uh, tweed side here. You're going to notice a, a little bit more of a growl and an increase in the mid-range. And now I'm going to take those same settings and crank them up a little bit so you can hear what those sound like. Same setting uh, on the tweed mode. So now let's plug into the AC channel. Uh, we have a top cut. Uh, it's, it's a cut knob so that the more you increase it, the warmer it's going to be, the less high end you'll have. The uh, mid contour, it gives you more of a uh, boutique uh, vox tone when it's flipped up. It gives you a little bit more mid range. And when it's down, it's more, uh, it reminds me more of a stock 
sort of AC30 tone. We have a voicing uh, switch, which starts at normal, goes to brilliant, then it has top boost one and top boost two. You'll hear what that sounds like in a minute. And then we just got uh, our volume here. Uh, the volume also works, obviously, uh, with the stage studio and master, the hybrid master as well. Let's get into it. So this is just the, uh, the, the stock normal mode. with the uh, mid contour switch on. All right, let's go over some of the voicings now. This is uh, brilliant. It's gonna be a little bit brighter, a little bit more jangle for like the Tom Petty sort of thing. Top boost one. And top boost two. Just crank it up. So now that you've heard each side individually, we're just going to uh, plug into both of them. By uh, plugging into this top jack, you do have both of them activated, uh, and then the volume just controls which one's on. I have the uh, American mode on the uh, tweed setting, and the AC mode with the mid contour up on the normal mode. <laughs> It's a really nice grind, and you definitely get a special sort of touch sensitivity when both of them are on. I'm going to set it a little bit cleaner with the American side in the blackface mode. We are using a Keeley Caverns uh, delay, and uh, it'll show you what the uh, new Citizen effects loop sounds like. I'm going to take the uh, mid contour off as well. Bye. 
And then this is just the amp cranked and uh, I'm using a Keely Mata Tube Screamer to just take it over the top. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been Sean Maisie from Men's Stuff Music. Thanks for swinging by and checking out the uh, Third Power Dual Citizen amp. You can find it on endstuffmusic.com or uh, come to the store and plug into this guy yourself and see what you think.